The Kitzenmeier is an articulated locomotive, just like the Mallet, the Fairley and the Gerd. The Mallet, a compound locomotive, possesses only one pivot, where the rear power unit works with high pressure cylinders and is rigidly fixed to the boiler and the cabin. For the Garrett, Fairley and Kitzenmeier, both the front and the rear units are equipped with pivots. For the Garrett, the weight of the water and of the coal is spread onto the two power units. So the central frame only has to bear the weight of the boiler. For the Fairley and the Kitzenmeier, the central frame carries the total weight of the boiler, water and coal supply. Therefore, it has to be rather stable and massive. Both pivots are identical to the live steam version. It is easier to screw the two sockets of the pivots, the straps of the boiler and the water tube angle prior to the assembly of the frame. The parts of the frames possess coggings for precise positioning. They really fit very well. Upon fixation of the frame to the button plate, the remaining parts of the frame can be positioned. Now the top plate can be placed and soldered. The rear wall has to be adapted a bit. These two aligning pins are necessary for the live steam version only.
the resting of the cast parts requires some more time. The two sum parts need to be additionally worked on the late turning machine. The first tubes get bent and soldered onto the frame. As usual, the preparation of the soldering takes even more time than the soldering process itself. These parts are screwed because these screws also serve to fix the water tanks. For inaccessible areas, it is easier for the soldering to use solder paste. For the compressor, it would have been much easier to screw it earlier. Now, however, its integration is much more cumbersome. The connecting tubes for the water tanks are a combination of cast parts with a tube. That requires first to solder and then the rust.
mountings of the compressed air tank get rasped and tested until final fit. The one screw is also a part of the mounting of the tank and gets soldered. The thread of the screw gets a final cut. When the assembly is done using edge discs to indicate screw heads. Pressured air tubes get bent according to the plan, soldered and connected to the frame. The boiler mounting get assembled and later screwed along with the ash box to the frame. Now the remaining parts of the ash box are placed and connected to the frame. After its soldering, the handbrake gets also mounted.
the two caps of the chambers of the pressed air get a final adjustment on the late turning machine, get drill and solder. Drill screw nuts make an excellent replica of screwings of contacts. Now the last pressured air tube is connected and soldered. I'll catch you in the next video.